And now it's time to have some fun and talk about something exciting, the Miss Nigeria USA pageant. And joining us from New York are two judges for this Saturday event, Joy Ekidenma Fakhuri, director and founder of the Miss Nigeria USA pageant. She started the pageant in 2014 with the aim of creating a forum for competition among Nigeria's most brilliant and beautiful women. Joy is accompanied by fellow judge Ty Hunter, a fashion guru most famously known as Beyonce's stylist. Ty hails from Austin, Texas. A very warm welcome to you both. Hello, I'm happy to be Thank here. You. Hello. <laughs> All right. Um, Joy, let me start with you. Um, the contestants obviously are stunningly beautiful. Uh, what more will, will you be looking for to determine the winner? Um, well, we are looking for someone who is um, a servant, someone who can serve, because you cannot really be a leader if you're not a servant. So we're looking for someone who can really serve the community. And um, the girls actually moved in yesterday um, from different states in, in America, and the pageant is going to be taking place on Saturday, of course. And I was there to welcome them, so I'm really excited for the show. Now, let me turn to you, Ty, with your wealth of experience working with celebrities. What potential do you see in this kind of beauty pageant for Nigerians and African women in general? We'll say it again. I'm three. Can you repeat the question? Uh, Ty, I'm a, with your kind of you know, experience in working with celebrities, what kind of potential do you see in this kind of beauty pageant for Nigerians I and even it, African women in general? I think it's a great platform to see the cultures come together. There's so many beautiful Nigerian women. I, I went to the event a couple of years ago and I had a great time. Um, like I said, so many beautiful women, but also the talent and just, uh, you know, the, the, they're so intelligent and smart. It's just, it's gonna be hard. It's always gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be a hard one. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and Joy, you said the women just came in yesterday. What is really the ultimate prize for the winner and what is expected of her? Um, well, it's over ten thousand dollars in prizes, in cash and prizes, and a trip to Nigeria, um, being an ambassador for different brands, and also MNUSA Cares, which is um, uh, uh, Miss Nigeria USA Cares, the project that we started um, to help um, communities in Nigeria. is basically all things service and volunteer, and uh, what is expected of the queen um, this year is being able to serve. As I said earlier, um, the MNUSA Cares, um, we have a project called um, Share a Skill. And this Share a Skill, we, we train uh, um, 90 individuals in Nigeria from different skills like baking, makeup artistry, and photography. So this girl, the winner, is going to be a face of the, of, the, um, of the organization. So helping people as well as, you know, being training the other people as well. Mm -hmm. Now, Ty, turning to you again there, uh, there's quite a huge population of Nigerians in your hometown of Texas. And these girls are already uh -huh. in the U.S. How do they really connect with the homeland? You know, it's, it's this culture. It's growing up. You was raised. Um, I'm from Texas, so I still carry it with me. It's in, it's in them. Um, and I just love it to see these women come together. They're so confident, and they're, be, they're like Bond. They're sisters in, 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 you know, in, in this race, but they also, like Joy said, just giving back to, to the community, giving back to our people. So, Joy, again, how do you mentor these girls to become leaders and even role models to the Nigerian uh, African community? Um, first, they have to set a goal. You know, when they have a goal, I help them towards achieving that goal. Because you cannot just come to be a beauty queen without having a goal and what you what you try to achieve in that. So, the my 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 goal is to help them set a goal in order to be the better queen. Uh -huh. And Ty, what's next for the contestants who will obviously not take home the crown? <laughs> What is next What's for them? What's next for the contestants? Yeah, because there will uh, be one like winner. Like Joyce said, they... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. It's true. It's true. It's going to be one Boy. winner. I probably have to sneak out of there since I'm the judge. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they definitely get to, I know that they go to Nigeria and they do a lot of charitable things. And it's just a great organization. And I'm so proud of Joy for even coming up with this. It's Thank awesome. You. And Joy, what kind of community services uh, to most of these girls and vision uh, that would benefit Nigerians back home, whether they win or they don't win, you know? 
Um, well, um, right now, as, as of right now, they're actually volunteering at a, um, a health center, um, giving back. And, um, but back in Nigeria, we help the disability, um, uh, um, disability services, the girls or the girl will go um, help people out in different areas and we have the IDP camps in Abuja, Kaduna, different areas and they're gonna go there and serve and give back as well and um, yeah basically just being able to give back to the uh, um, community in a positive you know light. And how is this joy received back home in Nigeria this con kind of contest? Actually it's been good, good. it's been great um, the uh, the previous years, the queens they went back and I mean they accepted them really good. The media, everyone, um, yeah, it's really it's really great. Everyone is is friendly and welcome welcoming. All right, looking forward to seeing the contest and see the, the winner and what happens after that. Thank you very much. Our thanks to Joy Ikednima Fakuri, director and founder of the Miss Nigeria USA pageant, and Ty Hunter, a fashion guru, most famously known as Beyonce's stylist.